you want to be one of the cool guys, buy my merch. Welcome to episode three of Almighty Cooks Blighty, Cooking Blighty, whatever the fuck you call it. Today, we are gonna be cooking, obviously something dear to me in my homeland of England. We're gonna be cooking bison and some mashed potatoes. Obviously, if you're from Suffolk, you probably see bison often. They are in all the fields, really. You see them everywhere. Big bison, the big horns on their head. Ipswich Town, bison, that's what we're known for. Bisons are faster than horses. They're actually very flick. A bison can run up to 35 miles an hour. Bisons use their heads in the winter to plow snow. Yeah, right, shall we carry on? Obviously, if you're in Suffolk, you want a good cut of bison meat, get down your local butcher, get yourself a big slab of bison. It's a thick bastard. Bisons are quite big. I'm gonna put it in this thing, this uh, cast iron thing. I'm gonna bake it for a minute, and then I'm gonna sear it on each side. I'm gonna take my hoodie off, the brand new Almighty hoodie, the new logo because I don't want to get bison meat all over it. Get yours now, almightymerch.shop. Right, what the fuck is that? Fuck, oh. bastard steak. Hygiene is the priority in the almighty kitchen. We get your steak, I'm gonna get some of this, I'm gonna fucking dry it off. I'm gonna pat the bastard down. Have a bit of that, okay? I've been assured that it's been tenderized by the butcher. He's been whacking it with a hammer. Make sure it's nice and tender. Ooh, hello. Salt it, I'm gonna pepper it. Have some of that new Bastard. Nothing's coming out. I'm gonna use my peak tongue so I don't have to keep washing my hands. Every angle. We wanna get it all on every angle. Yeah, let's be having you out. What are you looking at? In my oh no, I'm gonna cut this, no. I'm gonna get a bit of butter. Organic. Again, I don't know how much sap too much. Get off me. Right, that's going in there. Okay, get the fuck in there. I'm gonna put a bit of avocado oil. Just splash him. So I put the steak, I put the butter, I put some oil, and I'm gonna put it in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Give it a few minutes to fucking go, because it is fairly thick. You can see it each side, but then it's gonna be raw on the inside, and it's a bit, a bit pony. So now we've got spatats. Spatatas, patatas. We are going to skin these bastards alive. Leave no potato on the skin. Have these been washed, sir? No, but you're about to skin them, so I think it's fine. And you should wash them, I guess, after you skin them. I was the next professional potato boy, or potato bitch, okay? Because you don't have to take all the skin off. Okay, we don't want naked potatoes. Take the bad stuff off, you know, a little bit here and there. We're gonna leave a little bit of skin around it, okay? We don't want these boys naked. I'm not a pervert for potatoes. I respect the potato. You know what, I might just take it all off. I am a bit of a pervert for a potato. Concentrate, you don't want to cut yourself with a peeler. Doesn't seem like a dangerous weapon, but in the wrong hands. Or right hands, it could be very dangerous. Bisons are more like a, an orangey colour when they're babies. So they get to a certain age and then they start getting their sort of typical bison coat. So that's an interesting uh, thing for you. Right, these are all good to go. I'm going to toss them into there. I'm going to fill it up with water. I'm going to just kind of like, you know, put it above them. I'm going to set it on the rapid boil. And I'm going to heavily assault my water. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. You didn't chop the potatoes? It's new school. I do know how to make mashed potatoes. Oh, it doesn't look like you know how to do it. Okay, sometimes you forget because of the lights and all that and the cameras, it's just easy to forget to chop the bastards up. Easy mistake to make. I'll take it back, Gordon. How do you do it? Oh, Gordon. Gordon, you potatoes. You like to put the whole potato in the water first. So let it get a feel for it. Let it get a feel for the pool, you know? Okay, so you did it on purpose. Yeah, you want, you want the potato to know you're gonna fuck it up. You're gonna to wanna to get your lobster claws on. We're gonna go in there, it's been about 10 minutes for the bastard, but fuck it up. Oh, it's looking good. We have to flip it over. It's a bit pink on one side. Obviously the bottom side is uh, cooking nicely. You have to spin it a big old cut, you know, you don't wanna mess around with it. A bit of shadow boxing in between rounds. Don't report me. Good thing about having a cat is she will fight you at any given moment. I do miss my dog, he loves me very much and I love him too. But the cat, she's just a bastard. Potatoes are starting to boil, the bastards are solid. They're rock solid. See, with a dog, if I had a dog, my boy, my dog, he wouldn't be able to escape and get into the cupboard and not be my friend. She's just gone into the cupboard, 
She might as well not exist. How do you think this guy feels about tonight's dinner? He's probably just glad he's not a bison. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> And then you open the door and she just runs away. Fun fact, both female and male bisons grow horns. You know it's good when the fork doesn't take, you know? And they fall off the fork. Not ready, that one was a bit rip rippy. I'm gonna take the bastard lid off. Use your glove, because this shit's hot, watch out. Okay, I'm gonna take the steak from its vessel, and I'm gonna put it. <laughs> Times like these would be good to have a microphone, because we've got the door open, the fan going, the steak's making some sizzling noises, the cat's fucking losing her shit. Oh, no, we're burning it. Yeah, you put it too high. Oh, shit. I put it too hot. That done. The house is on fire. Now we need to do some mashed potatoes. Bring the spatats. Flavour is not good for you. So I'm gonna add a splash of milk. Just, just, just a splash. Um, use this boy. I'm gonna fucking make you out know This looks good to me. <laughs> I didn't make a fucking steak sauce. Shit. <laughs> you said that as if you know how to make steak sauce? Well, I would have Googled it. Peppercorn sauce or something. Do you want me to whip that up for you? Can you whip that up? Yeah. Yeah. I whipped up some peppercorn sauce. I know some people would say it's criminal to, you know, cover your steak. I like to, I like to cake my steak. The thing is, with the bison, is it is a big animal. A cat, she kind of eats, kind of like, she kind of eats something she could kill. Like a chicken, she eats chicken, a lot of chicken. Don't think she could take down a bison, to be honest. Mm -mm. That is a good steak. If you're from Suffolk, go out there and get yourself some organic bison, homegrown, grass fed. Hey! Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you are a rat. And, um, I've got piss off. Shaq's loving when you got food, but the rest of the time she doesn't want to know me. The mashed potato is the bot. Fuck. Hey, what are you doing? But don't think you don't think you close it. Oh! Does anyone else have this problem with their cat? I'm sure they do. It's one of the things you always think, oh my cat's a bastard, and someone's like, oh I actually what? Excuse me. No. You don't even like potatoes. You're not vegan, you fuck off! Did you know they call a herd of bison a gang? Or an obstinacy. The thing is, you don't want, you don't want to choke, okay? I nearly choked on a piece of steak when I was younger. My mum had to save me. She hit me with the old Heimlink. It's a very scary moment, so make sure you chew your food. Very red raw in the middle. I like it that way, to be honest, so I would probably just eat it off the back of it. Bison is fattier than I thought. Obviously, they are big boys. Actually, the heaviest recorder was 3,800 pounds. I was a bit off. My um, Googling gave me a false statistic of 4,400 pounds. Talking about bisons, we have, we will be having some new t-shirts coming to the site soon. They're on their way with the 2.0 logo. We've got the new hoodies in. The new t-shirts have nothing to do with bisons, so that's a cool fact for you. This is quite hard to cut when you have a knife. Get over the Almighty Merch Shop. We've got some deals on, on like the old stuff, the original logo. Some new hats, beanie hats, the winner is coming. We have some pink, we have some grey, we have some navy blue. Yeah, the Pacers Jib shirts are selling pretty good. The Halloween shirt, I think we have a handful of those left. And also, if you are going to buy something and complain about the cost of shipping, ship free, 20 free, you will get free shipping. You go over to these other merch ones, they send it from the US, it's like $50 to send it. It's like 30, 40 quid to send your shirt to the UK. That's more than the shirt cost. This is a big piece of bison. We'll have to bring the cat back to help. Thank you for watching episode three of Almighty Cooking Blighty. Bison steak, you know, make sure you have some good steak knives in the house because these are dog shit. If you got this far, thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for buying the Almighty merch stuff. This shirt is no longer available, but it was the original one. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, ring that bell thing, comment, whatever it is. And again, if you're one of the people that are calling me a wanker, thank you. But you're going into some sort of report file <laughs> for some reason. I'll try and keep more content going and uh, maybe some gym stuff. Maybe some training stuff. I don't know. Now we'll see.
and we'll see what we do. All right, thanks guys, hope you enjoyed.